Hello. It's a special Wednesday today. Yes, of course, because I'm going to start answering all your reading related questions today. But it is also 20th of March, which means it is World Storytelling Day. Hi everyone. My name is Nidhi Gujral. I'm a storyteller and a reading expert. And I'm so excited to be kickstarting this journey with you today by showing you how you can make reading interesting and engaging for your kids by the use of props. Well, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. You can just use anything that's lying around you. You can use printouts, you can use stuffed toys, you can just use your hands, you can make finger puppets, anything really. So let's begin. Today I have a book here from Pegasus which has 365 moral stories. They are super short stories, one for every day of the year. And today I'm going to read out the story of the monkey and the crocodile for you. So watch and learn. There once lived a monkey on a tree near a river. And in that river lived a crocodile. The crocodile was very wicked. Yeah. The monkey would spend the whole day eating yummy sweet fruits from the tree on which he lived. Nom, nom, nom. And the wicked crocodile would watch him and he would think, mm, The monkey eats such delicious sweet fruits every day. I wonder how sweet his heart would be. I should find a way to trick this monkey so that I can heat his heart. <laughs> so one day the crocodile swam up to the river bank and said to the monkey, Monkey, aren't you bored of the same fruit that you eat every day from that tree? Climb on my back. And I will take you to a place which has so many different kinds of fruit trees. You can eat all you want. What do you think the monkey said? Well, he agreed. He said, oh, that sounds very nice. Wait, let me get onto your back. So both the crocodile and the monkey began to swim across the river. But when the crocodile reached the deepest part of the river, he stopped and he said, <laughs> I tricked you, monkey. I want to eat your heart. Mm. But the monkey was very clever. He didn't get scared. He thought very quickly and he said, Oh, you wanted to eat my heart, is it? You see, my heart is so sweet that I don't carry it with me everywhere. I left it back on the tree. Take me back and I will bring it to you. So the foolish crocodile swam back across the river to the tree. The clever monkey jumped up from the crocodile's back and climbed up the tree and never returned. The foolish crocodile understood that he was the one who had been tricked. I hope you liked it. Do try telling this story to your kids and tell me how it was. See you next week. Bye-bye.